Tonight's top story, the Mount Vernon School District raising money to help keep their sports program alive for the fall season. It's a story you'll see first here. They only have about three weeks left to raise thousands of dollars. Rick, how much money do they need? The district needs to raise $300,000 by August 10th. Failure to do so would mean no football, no soccer, no sports of any kind in Mount Vernon schools. I was, uh, I think, hurt more than anything. Like, I was devastated at first. Truly, to me, it was um, a loss of a family member. Among the programs being threatened at Mount Vernon was the powerhouse boys basketball team, an eight-time state champion and a source of local pride. If that team did not play, oh, I mean, the people would come out of woodwork. I think some people would get out of the grave. You know, it's that important to this community. It is one of the things that traditionally helps this community to keep its head up high. The Mount Vernon um, Knights basketball team mean a tremendous amount to this community, uh, not just because of the long history of outstanding accomplishments, but because they have been outstanding young men. Sports were in jeopardy of being canceled after the school budget was defeated twice, but the community wouldn't give up, launching a private fundraising effort called SOS, Save Our Sports. The goal, $300,000 to keep fall sports alive. When I heard about the sports project, I said, you know what, this is a can-do. And uh, that's why I jumped on it, and I said, well, I have to give it all that I have. It was hard, but it was worth it. You know, we had a couple of hundred kids that wouldn't have benefited if, you know, if we didn't step up. I'm thinking it's my senior year. It's a big year for me and my teammates. It's a year for us to go out there, get some more scholarships, see, get ourselves seen. And we all got sports, so I'm just thinking, like, oh, that's crazy. We got to do something about this. On two very hot weekends, we got out on the corners, the physical corners of the city of Mount Vernon. And we are out there in uniform, coaches, and player alike, and parents, and we asked for donations. I'm out here because um, we need my brother sports, because without my brother sports, people won't get scholarships, and people won't be doing the right thing for the streets, so we'd rather play ball. The fundraising really picked up momentum with a $100,000 donation from Denzel Washington. Jeff, I'd like to say on behalf of this entire city, your donation of $25,000 is now the standard. Bronxville resident Jeff Cooney was the first to give money. He began a trend of people from Mount Vernon's wealthy neighbor donating money to save the Knights. If you ever wanted to hold up um, a basketball program, um, you know, uh, it would be Mount Vernon's, you know. In September, Bronxville resident Andy Paul hosted a cocktail party that raised $250,000 for Mount Vernon sports. It was that event that gave the school enough money to fund basketball. Who knew that other towns would just rise to the occasion or the level that they did to host a party that literally brought in $250,000 is just unheard of in our spectrum of norm. And, and, and when Jeff came with his check, Denzel came with his check afterwards, you know. <laughs> so you set the standard and we've been meeting it ever since. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bronxville. Thank you. Today, I am proud to announce that we have raised over $700,000. Not putting any additional pressure on these young men, but they better win the state championship. Uh, yeah, it is more pressure because knowing that we almost lost this season, it's a lot of pressure on myself and my teammates because we got to come out here and everybody expect us to just take everything. They always expect my brother to do stuff, but. Now that we almost lost it, we got it back, they even expect more of us. On December 16th, the Mighty Knights took the floor for their season opener against Roosevelt High School. Basketball.
was back at Mount Vernon. Just saw uh, Mr. Jeff Cooney from Bronzeville. Remember him, some of you, he was the man that gave the first $25,000. And God, that seems like a long time ago. Been through a lot of aggravation and then a lot of good times since then. Finally, it's the real stuff today. That's a lot of people coming out to see you. This game <clears throat> is our first, and it's the start of something special. Take it that way. Do the dirty things that win games. First game, now let's go. Nice on three. Yeah, one, two, three. Nice! nice. Special. It's good to have people come out here, fans and children, parents and supporters.